Southampton under 18 squandered a two goal lead to share a point with Chelsea this afternoon at Staplewood. Anthony Limbrick welcomed back Carl Clinton into the middle of his defence with Niall Mason and Josh DeBio coming in either side. Josh Sims returned to the 18s after spending the majority of his time with the 21s. Chelsea named Tammy Abrahams on their bench. He scored twice against Saints at the start of the season to give the Blues all three points up at Cobham. Chelsea probably started the better side. Ollie Cook had to use his strength to fuse out this chance. Olafella Olamola had Saints' first chance as he was played through by Callum Slattery, but he couldn't quite find the angle and shot across goalkeeper Brad Collins and just wide of the left-hand post. He had another opportunity when he turned his man inside the box here, but Collins managed to parry the ball to safety. Josh Sims looked lively with the ball and created space for this low shot. However, he couldn't quite find the power, which allowed Collins to get his body fully behind it. Saints opener came after 28 minutes when Dan Demkiv picked up the ball on the right and flashed it across goal into the path of Olafella Olamola. The strike was Olamola's first of the season and you could certainly see the pleasure in his celebration as he finished from close range. Limbrick's men didn't have to wait long for their second. This time it was a stunning individual effort from Josh Sims. A quick turn and touch to get him away from the defender and he curled it superbly over the acrobatic Collins to net his second of the season. His first coming against Chelsea on the opening day. Tammy Abrahams came off the bench and caused Saints trouble straight away. He scuffed this effort into Eistert's hands. Josh DeBio raced down the left-hand side to create a chance for himself, but couldn't beat Collins at his near post. A superb tackle from Niall Mason fizzled out this attack. Abrahams was through on goal, but the right-back raced round the side of his man to plant this sliding tackle right at the pivotal moment. Isaac Christie Davis grabs a goal to start the Chelsea comeback. He provided this smart little dink to lob Eisted from the edge of the box. Charlie Wakefield flashed this effort past the right hand post as Chelsea searched for their equaliser. Saints almost extended their lead down the other end though. Dan Demkiv was denied by the post. He turned his man on the right wing to find space and unleashed a curling effort which hit the right hand upright. Oli Cook was forced into a goal on clearance to prevent the Blues equaliser when Abrahams managed to lob one over an on-rushing Eisted. Chelsea almost finished off a lovely team move with Christy Davis, but Eisted produced a superb one-on-one -on -one save to deny the Blues number 10. Charlie Wakefield, who was pretty active all afternoon, teed up Abrahams for the equaliser. Abrahams had a simple one-on-one -on -one finish to score a goal that he probably deserved. Josh Sims could have put Saints back in the lead, but he slipped at the final moment as he wriggled his way into the box. Post-match, Anthony Limbrick said despite being ahead at half-time, his team was still disappointed with their first half performance. Anthony, is that a point earned today or two points lost in your mind? Um, depends how you could look at it both ways, I think. Um, I thought, well, we all thought the first half we didn't play really up to our usual standards. I mean, we found ourselves at half time 2 0 up, but we didn't press that well. Um, and our playing out from the back and our tempo tended to be a little bit slow and we struggled sort of to, to penetrate. There were some good individual bits. Um, Dan had a couple of good runs and Simsy scored obviously a great goal. And it was nice to see Fella scoring the first half and um, Niall with a good cross. So apart from those two or three little bits and pieces, we we came in at half time. We weren't really happy uh, as a team how we played, even though we found ourselves 2-0 up against obviously a very good Chelsea side. What was the mentality at half time? Was it to try and protect that 2-0 lead or really to keep playing your football, start playing it about again and... Yeah. see what more you could do well the idea that we weren't happy at half time like we said we went in and said a few words and so, sort of a few harsh words which 
I thought was 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 fair enough because we hadn't played that well in the, in the first half. So the idea was was to get everything back on track, get our pressing right for the second half, and and start to play a lot more football through the thirds. Um, we tried to do that, but it just yeah it didn't really happen for us today in terms of that. And I think Chelsea are obviously a good side. I mean they bought sort of two or three really good players off the bench, and that was tough for us to deal with. And we got a little bit tired legs at the end. But I think that we we did need to defend a little bit more solid. And obviously last week we conceded late on, but it was nice to get the point in the end. Yeah, how do you think your defence coped with Tani Tammy Abraham? Because he did he did make a big impact for Chelsea, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think they, they must have been resting him next week for the, for the FA Youth Cup on Tuesday against Leeds. And yeah, he's he, listen, he's a threat. He runs in behind and works the centre-halves. And all in all, they dealt with him fairly well, but just switched off just for a little bit of a second there when he ran off the back shoulder of, of, of the and, and ended up scoring. But yeah, he's definitely a handful. Yeah. And just a quick word for Josh Sims, because his goal was a stunning one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a great strike. Um, we were sitting on the bench for a lot behind it. And, could see it go in the minute it left his foot. So it was yeah, it was really pleased for him. He had a tough game today, but but it was good to see him score and, and at a, a crucial time in the game. So I was really pleased for him.